Easy peeps, and welcome back to another episode. I've started from the bottom, the road to glory. Apologies for no face camera. I'm under a kind of a time pressure. Our schedule has been recorded quite late ish. So, next couple of days, we probably won't have one. But go when we restart back in the new year, we'll be back to normal. Right. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, unlucky. If you did, well done. We have, of course, now unlocked Costa Dal Sol. So Sol Campbell is added to the team. Looking at his stats, he looks tremendous. He looks absolutely tremendous. He is six foot two, which could be a little bit of a worry compared to what we're going from, which is Virgil van Dijk. However, to try and get Alexandro in the team, this was the best option. So we do have Alexandro making his Fou Champions debut. And we do have Costa Dal Sol making his overall club debut. So, well done, everybody. And first up, we come across a 3-4-3. We don't see this formation very often. Usually when we do play these off formations, they become a little bit of a problem. Now, talking of problems, we may have uncovered a problem. But before that, look at the way Sandro jumps absolutely from the other side of the screen to block Hully. What a man, what a hero. But this leads onto what one of our problems is. So that's a plus point from Sandro, like that. Minus negative point from Costa del Sol is corners. Is corners. For some reason, and I don't know why, in the first four or five games, we kept conceding corners. Is it the positioning of Costa del Sol? Is it the fact we haven't got the height of Virgil van Dijk in the team anymore? I'm not, I, I, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. But we have got a problem. We need to get that out of this club straight away. Otherwise, we're going to keep conceding a hell of a lot of goals. You will see in the next game exactly what I'm talking about. In the first four or five games of, of Costa del Sol's tenure, we probably conceded six or seven corners. And under Virgil van Dijk era, that's what we're calling them. We'll call them eras. Under the Virgil van Dijk era, we didn't really concede many corners. His presence in the box for crosses was absolutely phenomenal. Unfortunately, Costa del Sol does not have that presence for crosses, for corners. Whether it's positioning, I'm not too, I'm not too sure. It also affected Varane as well. If Varane wasn't very good on the crosses or the corners. Just the whole kilter of the defence was completely out of sync on crosses and corners. Now, the only thing is, is Costa del Sol causing that? Is Alexandro causing that? I'm not too sure. But the thing I loved about Sandro is he does cut inside quite a lot and blocks things. Now, is that a problem when we come to the crosses? Is it the fact that the left back isn't staying where he should? He's trying to come across into the centre back position, which is then automatically moving our centre backs across. So is Costa del Sol the problem or is it actually Sandro the problem? I'm not, I'm not too sure. But... On this game, we do go 1-0 down from a fantastic finish from him. And then, we concede the first corner of this game from uh, Sanchez. So a flick on and then Davison Sanchez gets the goal. And we then go on and concede a second corner in this game. Now, obviously this is Ronaldo. Players like Ronaldo and stuff like that are very good at jumping. However, Virgil van Dijk would have knocked that out of the park all day long. So he was kind of tilted kind of tilted conceding two corners in one game on top of the fact we've probably conceded five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty fourteen immense yeah in, in, immense immense amount of crosses and corners so i'm not I, I don't know i don't know so i mean i don't need to be too negative straight away on costa del sol because he does have some absolutely great points to him as well He's wide, man. His character model is very, very stocky. So that means it's very hard for players to get past him, which is good. He's got that extra turn of pace compared to Virgil van Dijk, which is very nice. And then 75 plus minutes on, Virgil van Dijk used to struggle slightly thanks to his, uh, you know, his slower pace if the opposition brought on a fast super sub. Sol Campbell or Costa del Sol doesn't have those problems. However... I do need to check his character model because I think, I think they may have put football boots on him that are too big. Sometimes, Costa del Sol is going around like he has clown shoes on. He reminds me slightly of, of uh, I don't know if you've seen the film Forrest Gump, he reminds me slightly of Forrest Gump's best mate Bubba. Or, I don't know, 
the kid that's trying to find his baseball in something about Mary. Just, just whoever. Sometimes, in some situations, he'll come charging in for absolutely no reason. Sometimes he'll give away a penalty. Sometimes he won't. Sometimes he'll trip over you, his own teammate and take out the entire defence. Um, I don't know. I don't know whether it's his clown shoes. Um, I don't know whether it's his low agility, his low balance, the, f the fact that his character model is about four foot wide. I, I don't know what it is. But we had one game where he took out, not only did he take out Varane, he also took out Alexandro in exactly the same move as we speak about Alexandro, he gets himself a goal. Now, you may ask that question, and I'm asking this question now as I'm reliving this memory. Why was Sandro and Varane in the same place? Is it because Sandro keeps coming across? Is Costa del Sol getting all the blame and it seems to be Sandro? Is it the fact that the gameplay was just heavy in this weekend? I don't know. But that's what this weekend's for. We're not too, we're not too bothered about where we finish. It's good to try and iron these bugs out and see where we are, see, see what's working, see what's not working. I do like, for, for instance, on Sandro, on some instances, the fact he does actually cut across. So, he, you know, if a centre-back does miss it, he is there to kind of block it, kind of like what Robertson does, whereas Hernandez would just kind of stay in his lane and know what to do and drop a little bit deeper. The negative for Sandro is sometimes he is a little bit high, which we knew that was going to be a problem anyway. And then Costa del Sol, uh, his height, is, is an issue on crosses and corners and the fact that he's got football boots on that are just far too big for his feet and he keeps falling over in some games that could be an issue as well but on our first well second batch of games but first batch of games that you're seeing we do a little bit of a recovery you know we go seven and five so yeah with four and one in this batch or whatever yeah it's not that good it's not that good but we're not going to take this weekend too seriously, you know, it's not about that, it's about just trying to find the team now, see if we can actually move on and see what's working and what's not working, try a few new players in Sandro and Costa del Sol and see where we are and hopefully we can try and get something good going into the new year and move forward. Before we go today though, I just want to show you, we're going to take a couple of risks now, we're going to take a couple of risks. So I've showed you that we bought those informs there. We're also taking risk number one. I will show you risk number two in later on, later on in the week. We've purchased 10 Ben Fosters for around about 17 and a half thousand coins each. So 100 nearly, what, 175,000 coins we've spent on 10 Ben Fosters. You know, you know, we said before where I just get a little bit of a feeling and I and I never go with it. So I've had I've had a couple of feelings. This is the first feeling where I just feel that that's going to go up in price. If when we get the um, Premier League Player of the Month for December, now where will that be Salah, will that be uh, Son, or possibly Virgil van Dijk? I don't know. I think probably it's going to end up being Salah, just because Liverpool have done amazing things in December and the fact that he's leading it with goals and assists as well. Don't get me wrong, I'd love it to be Son, but I'd also love it to be Salah. I just think what Liverpool have done in December, it probably should come from a Liverpool player. Right, so I think with that, I just think Premier League informs are just going to go up in price. I'm not telling you to go and buy them, I'm just showing you a little bit of a hunch. If it pays off, it pays off. I don't think we can go too wrong. The next one that we're going to do, which I'll show you in a couple of videos time, will probably cost us i think it probably cost us but it's another punt that we're just going to try and go for we've just sometimes you just got to go with you got so far this year we haven't made too many mistakes so we're doing okay right then my friends if you are going out for new year please 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 look after yourself be good to everybody if you're staying in with your family i hope you and your family have a nice new year and if you're going to bed early, GG, get some rest. That is it for today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Of course, if you're already subscribed, you know what to do by now. Turn your notifications on so that you know when a new video goes live. Thank you for all the support in 2018. Happy New Year, my friends. Thank you for watching. Catch you in a bit.